holy women, they don't adorn themselves with all trying to gain all the attention of people's eyes on their bodies by wearing the most fancy, extravagant things or dressing themselves up externally, but they have a different ornament, the ornament that God thinks is very precious, meek and quiet spirit. The godly wives will also be in subjection and reverencing their husbands. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 8, the Bible says, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting, in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety. The shamefacedness, I mean, that's seriousness, right? She's, she's being serious about her appearance, but it's shamefacedness is going to be one that's the exact opposite of a proud look, right? And the more that women get all decked up and dazzled up and everything else, the more you see it, they're going to be walking around with more of a proud look, right? They just, just more full of themselves. I mean, that's just, that's reality. Just like you see if you, I mean, hopefully you don't, but We've all probably seen this before when, when they have the, um, I don't know, the Emmys, the Grammys, whatever they call the, the award ceremonies for all the movie stars and things like that. What do they do? Well, they dress themselves up in the most fancy, spectacular, get all eyes on me so everyone can be talking about what I'm wearing. I mean, that's what they do. And they're strutting around with all their pomp and their pride and just everybody look at me, right? That's the exact opposite of how a Christian woman ought to be. Adorn themselves in modest. Modest means you're not drawing attention to you. That's what modesty is. We have a tendency to think that modesty, well, if, some, if that's immodest, then it's going to be showing too much skin, right? Now, look, that is immodest for women to be showing too much skin, but the reason why is not just because, you know, th that's not the only thing reserved for being called immodest. Let me put it that way. The reason why it's immodest is because you're drawing attention to yourself, yeah. because you're getting eyes on you. That's why it's immodest. So whatever way you choose to do that, it's immodest. You could have a dress fully going from you know, top to bottom or whatever, completely covering yourself, still be immodest. Yeah. Maybe it's super tight. You could still see every curve of the body or whatever. That would be immodest. Or maybe it's covered with sequins and, and flashing glitter and, you know, and all this other stuff. And that's also going to be just drawing a bunch of attention to you. That would also be immodest. That's why it includes, after modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety. Not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. But which that, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Your conversation. How do you carry yourself? What do you do? Let people see your good works. And, you know, and girls that, that aren't married yet, work on having those good works more than having the appearance. If you want to attract a man, you want to get married, you want to attract the right man. You want to attract the right man. The wrong man is going to be looking at how you, if you're, if, you're point, if, you're, if you're trying to flaunt your body, you're going to find a man that's only going to be interested in your body. If you could show shamefacedness and have modest apparel, don't draw the attention to your body, but rather have a lot of good works, and this is who I am because I'm doing this, this, and this, then you're going to find someone who's going to love you for that reason more than the external physical appearance. 